This is just a very short video on the role of the wingman in an attack with a couple of examples in tack view. Here you can see me and dude entering the AO. These friendly units are about to come under attack. Note how we're in a pretty tight formation here as we approach. This is something we generally do well at Hoggett when we are traveling, but it all kind of falls apart when we actually get to the AO. We all start doing our own thing, just circle like vultures. This doesn't make us, uh, this, not only does it make us less effective as attackers, but it also increases the effectiveness of anti-air defenses against us. I'll explain, and I apologize, it's a little janky. The, uh, I recorded this from a track uh, with time compression, so it kind of jumps around a little bit, but it gets the point across. So we're in an unknown threat environment. We don't know exactly what's down there waiting for us. In this first example here, dude is about to make a gun run against some infantry and IFVs. I don't get any rounds off on this run, but if you take a look around the battlefield, I'm in an excellent position to observe his attack. Now why this is important is, if he were to get attacked by something serious like a man pad or a radar AAA, I'd have a good chance of seeing it coming. If I see it coming, I can try and help him defeat the threat, and then I can guide him away from it. I'll also know the approximate location, so that we can either try to avoid it in the future, or try to take it out. Note how I stay with him, even through the completion of the attack. Unless he orders me to do otherwise, I stay right on his wing. This allows us to know exactly where we are on the battlefield at any given time, and it prevents things like mid-air collisions and uh, things like that. In this next run, we're both going to attack. Dude is going to go in with guns, and I'm going to attack with rockets. Note our spacing. I drop a little further back so that dude will have time to acquire me visually and watch my attack run after his escape. First dude goes in. I'm in position behind him watching for threats. His attack is now complete and he's escaping to the left. Now he has his eyes on me and the target area so he can watch for threats while I attack. Now my attack is complete. I pull up and left and I go to rejoin my wingman, but we could have just as easily kept this uh, circle going. He would have just come back around for another attack and I would have just watched him during my escape, just like he did for me, and we could have done that over and over again as many times as we wanted to. So this way, we both get to put down our firepower in a very quick manner at the same area. We know exactly where we are on the battlefield. We don't have to keep up where each other are. We, we know we have a tactical advantage because we know exactly where our wingman is. And it's relatively safe because we can watch for serious threats as we attack. So even if you know when somebody is hit by one, you at least know where the danger area is so you can take it out or avoid it. So to contrast, if you take a look here at the uh, back right there, you can see Derp, a solo A-10, he's going in and he makes an excellent attack and he gets a lot of kills during it, but if he were to be attacked by anything during his attack run and he didn't see it, nobody would know what happened, where it came from, and nobody would be able to help him. So that's uh, just kind of what I wanted to go over real quick here. Just, uh, you know, it's it, it makes things a little easier for everybody and uh, you know it's fun on top of that so uh, just, just try to give that a try next time that you uh, play a multiplayer game with some people in Hoggett or uh, something else just uh, try to try to make it a point to stay in formation with your wing leader even uh, even through an attack thanks